All right, circuit sort assembly. So uh, at this point, you know, you're going to have your uh, screen already uh, glued in place. And uh, uh, you are going to have your back all ready to go, uh, which includes your back buttons in there. Uh, your wire is going to be coming out. Plug it in there. You're going to have your cable Z folded, ready to go. All your cables go in, and then you might have to train your wires a little bit to sit on top of there above the fan, but we'll see that here in a minute. Uh, all your other boards should be installed, and your, uh, your mode button needs to be soldered. And um, <clears throat> if you're using the other board, then you're going to have the uh, HDMI there. So, anywho, on the front side, you're going to take your buttons and drop them in place. You're going to take your sill pad there. You're going to take your other buttons. Pop them in there. Take your other sill pad. Alright, got our starty selecty. Boom. Mucho nicer. Okay. Our sill. Bada bing. Found out somebody has colored versions of those. Pretty excited about that. Alright, so now we're gonna do the board. Which way does this thing go? Uh, just kidding. Okay, so this is your FPC connector, so you want to extend that out. Uh, you are going to want to check for bridges here and clear them if you see them. Pop that in, make sure it's in flush. Pull those up towards the connector to lock it in. Double check that you uh, have secured it properly. And then go ahead and lay your circuit sword in place. Uh, you will need to make clearance for the USB-C connector. And I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, you apply copious Kapton tape to the top of the uh, USB-C connector to prevent shorting on the mode switches. And you can see here that I've got Kapton tape on both sides. And... Uh, after carrying it around in my pocket for a little while, um, that wore through. So, uh, you know, there's another little uh, thing to do, actually, which I will do now. And I will use a small flat file. Okay, I do feel better about that. I just put a small piece of cap on. And just because I trust that everything works perfectly, I'm going to put a second layer. Okay. It's two o'clock. So now that I feel that we're sufficiently protected there, the only remaining steps are to, um, well, you know, you gotta, since I'm putting this thing back together, I need to get my extra VHP out of there. Little booger. I am going to install my circuit sword. Making sure to connect the uh, fan connector. Do want to be careful with the fan uh, and the connector. They're not meant to be uh, gone through a lot of cycles, so just just be ginger with it. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and connect up the backboard between these guys. Hmm. You know, see that ribbon cable? It's got that little indentation in it from those nibbles on the board. Just like I did with that uh, top bit there, I'm going to smooth those down. So in case you didn't see that, there's some little mouse nibbles 
from where the board is removed from its main piece, and I do not want that compromising the flat panel connector. You can also just whack them off with uh, diagonal cutters. There you go. I feel much better about that not screwing up my flat panel connection. Okay, so now these go in with the uh, blue side down. So we're going to go blue side down. Yep, da, 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 a little dance here. Just remember the first uh, the first time you get those in there, they're not they're not easy to get in. All right, so that's pretty much it. You just want to make sure your wires are staying well behaved up there. Otherwise, you're going to have some interference. Uh, we're going to have to plug in our analog speaker connection, and uh, I almost forgot our speaker. Those are all your connections. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the screws here, since I didn't do that already. I'm just finding the threads there. I have no desire to uh, cross thread this case. I mean, it's already delicate enough, as you can probably imagine. Don't tighten these too tight either. They don't they don't really need much bite to do their job. probably switch that with one of the bigger ones where I'm just going to leave it for the sake of assembly. Speaker retention there. And now we can close it up. Again, paying attention to the cable routing up and around the uh, vent fan. Looks okay to me. Sure you're not getting interference in your wires as you're closing it up. Everything should button up nice and easy. Now you got six screws in the back. Connect your battery and you're back in business. Now you may see there, I put some washers down in there. Uh, the case, uh, at least this particular version that I got, the holes are very small and don't accommodate the, uh, the screws very well at all. So I just dropped some washers in there to give it some extra help. It seemed to work okay. battery here. It's not a whole lot of wiggle room, but uh, it's not so bad. I mean, it's not really a common thing to need to swamp the battery. There we go. 
in. Close it up. I close it up. Cool. I was getting some lines on the screen before. That all seems to be addressed. Oh yes, much better. Seems to be working. Cheers. Happy hacking. Good times. <laughs>